you have the great fortune, and it is a great fortune, to have something inside of you that has brought you to the point where at least you're willing to start learning about consciously suffering as you must in order to go through what is necessary to enter into a relationship with freedom itself, not with the thing that you think will make you free, not with the money, not the power, not the relationships, none of that nonsense, but will actually change the way in which you are related presently to the very world through which you walk. Many years ago, I, I coined this idea that being is upstream from doing, or said otherwise, doing is downstream from being. The things that we do every day, mechanically, <clears throat> we do because they are an expression, unconscious, albeit, of our level of being. You do what you do because of your being. But part of your being includes the constant denial of what you get from what you do. So that you do certain things and then you blame someone else or something else for the being that led you into that relationship whatever it may have been, and it's rampant in you. It's fortunate, in a way, for us that the truth that guides us is very patient because it understands that, honestly, we can't take much can't take much at all. And that you're as likely to run from an opportunity to grow as you are to stand there and go through what you must in order to realize the nature of growth. And the nature of all growth has to do with a change in being, not a change in anything else, a change in being, which is why it is so difficult for an individual to actually go through any kind of transformation. It is a change in being and the individual whose being is being called to change, of themselves, they can't change their being. They can only enter into a living relationship with a set of principles, laws, forces, heavenly principles that exist for the very purpose of that transformation in their character, but they must come to it. They must gradually see, as I'm going to describe to you tonight, and I hope I can do it in simple enough terms, to at least uh, titillate your interest, your willingness to begin to challenge yourself. Not challenge yourself when you want something. That's nothing. There's no one there being challenged, and you're not challenging yourself. You're just an unconscious machine being driven to console or otherwise complete yourself through something you've imagined is going to make you whole and happy. And all you do at the end of all of that is realize it didn't change anything once again. But the work of changing one's nature is a completely different order of things.